If you're looking to get started with Jira, you're in the right place. This guide is designed for beginners, so don't worry if you're new to project management tools or agile methodologies. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of how to navigate Jira and make it work for you and your team. Let's kick things off by answering the big question what exactly is Jira? Developed by Atlassian, Jira is a powerful project management tool primarily used in software development and project tracking. It supports agile methodologies, helping teams manage tasks, track progress, and collaborate effectively. You may have heard about agile practices, which are essential for modern project management. If you're unfamiliar with agile, don't worry, we'll break it down together. So, what does Agile mean? In simple terms, Agile is a project management approach that emphasizes flexibility and collaboration. Instead of sticking rigidly to a predefined plan, which can lead to issues later, Agile encourages teams to break projects into smaller, manageable phases. This allows for continuous improvement and adaptation as the project evolves. You might be familiar with the waterfall model, where each project phase must be completed before moving on to the next. This can lead to significant downtime and challenges if things don't go as planned. Agile, on the other hand, allows for more iterative processes, enabling teams to pivot and adjust their plans as needed. To begin using Jira, you'll first need to create an account. This process is straightforward. Just head to the Jira website, fill out your basic information, and follow the prompts to set up your account. Once you've registered, you'll arrive at the Jira dashboard. When you first log into Jira, the dashboard may look a bit overwhelming. Don't worry, we'll navigate it together. At the top right, you'll find account settings where you can customize your profile and adjust the theme to your liking. On the top left, there's a menu to switch between various Atlassian apps. Atlassian offers a suite of tools that integrate seamlessly with Jira, enhancing your project management capabilities. In the Your Work section, you'll find all the tasks assigned to you. This feature helps you quickly see what needs your attention. Below that, there's an overview of the different projects you have access to. For this tutorial, We'll create a new project, which is a crucial step in using Jira effectively. When creating a project, you can choose between different methodologies, primarily Scrum and Kanban. Scrum is a structured framework that focuses on iterative progress through sprints, making it ideal for teams that work on complex projects and require regular adjustments. Kanban, on the other hand, is more flexible and visual allowing teams to manage workflow without the need for strict time box sprints. For our purposes, we'll stick with Scrum, as it's commonly used and effective for many teams. Now that we've chosen Scrum, let's create a project. You'll be prompted to select the project type Team Managed or Company Managed. Team Managed projects are maintained by your team making them a good choice if you're a smaller group without extensive inter-team dependencies. Company-managed projects are governed by Jira administrators and are better for larger organizations with multiple teams collaborating. Let's go ahead and create a team-managed project for simplicity. When prompted, give your project a name that reflects its purpose. Once you've named your project, click Next to continue. You'll now see the project view, where you can toggle between different displays. Board, backlog, and timeline. The board view provides a visual representation of your tasks. The backlog view serves as a database for all your issues. The timeline view gives you a Gantt chart-like overview of your project's timeline. Take a moment to explore these views, as they are essential for tracking your project's progress. In Jira, tasks are categorized into different issue types. Familiarizing yourself with these will help you manage your workflow more effectively. 
The primary issue types include An epic is a large body of work that can be broken down into smaller tasks. It serves as a high-level overview of a significant goal or feature within your project. A user story is a specific requirement from the perspective of the end user. It describes what the user wants to achieve and why. This structure helps teams focus on user needs and outcomes rather than technical specifications. Tasks are the actionable items that need to be completed to fulfill a user story. They can involve technical work or other responsibilities that contribute to achieving project goals. Let's create our first epic in Jira. To do this, navigate to your project dashboard and click on the Create button. This will open up a new window where you can input all the necessary details. Start by selecting the issue type and choose Epic from the drop-down menu. Next, you'll need to fill in the summary field with a concise title that represents the overall goal of the Epic. This title should clearly reflect the purpose and help your team understand the focus area. For instance, let's create an Epic titled User Account Management System which would encompass all tasks related to user registration, profile updates, and account security features. In the description field, you can optionally add more details about what this epic will include, such as user authentication methods, integration with third-party services, and the overall user experience you aim to achieve. Consider mentioning any key milestones or objectives that will help guide the work related to this epic. Once you've filled everything out, review the details to ensure accuracy. When you're satisfied with the information provided, hit Create to finalize the epic. After creation, it will appear in your project backlog, allowing you to track progress and associate individual tasks or stories under this overarching epic facilitating better organization and workflow management within your project. Next, we'll create user stories linked to our epic. Begin by returning to the project dashboard and selecting the backlog view. This area will give you a comprehensive overview of all pending tasks and their priorities. To create a new user story, click on the Create Issue button and choose User Story from the options. When filling out each user story, consider the following key elements. Craft a brief and descriptive title that encapsulates the essence of the user story. This title should communicate the specific feature or functionality from the user's perspective, clearly identifies a user need that directly ties back to the overall goal of the epic. This is crucial for maintaining organization within your project. Ensure that you connect each user story to the relevant epic you created earlier by selecting it from the drop-down menu. Once you've entered all the required details for the user story, review your inputs for accuracy. When everything looks good, click Create to finalize it. You can repeat this process for all user stories associated with the epic. Now that we have our user stories, it's time to break them down into actionable tasks. For each user story, select it and click on Create Child Issue. This allows you to create a structured hierarchy where each user story can have multiple tasks associated with it. When entering the task details, focus on defining specific actions that need to be taken to fulfill the user story. The tasks might include Design user registration form This involves creating the layout fields and user interface elements that make up the registration form. Collaborate with designers to ensure the form is user-friendly and visually appealing. Implement backend validation The focus is on coding the necessary checks and validations that ensure the information entered by users is correct and meets the requirements. This could involve checking for valid email formats, ensuring passwords meet security criteria, and preventing duplicate accounts. Test Registration Flow This task involves conducting tests to ensure the entire registration process works smoothly. Testers will go through the registration steps to identify any bugs or issues, 
such as errors in form submission or failure to send confirmation emails. Create user feedback notifications. Design notifications to inform users of successful registration or any errors that may have occurred. This includes developing user-friendly error messages and confirmation pop-ups. Document the registration process. Write clear documentation that outlines how the registration feature works, including screenshots and explanations for future reference. Make sure to categorize each task under its corresponding user story. This helps maintain a clear structure and makes it easier for team members to understand how each task contributes to the overall user story. By breaking down user stories into tasks, your team can tackle work in smaller, manageable chunks, ensuring a more organized and efficient workflow throughout the project. Let's talk about sprints. A sprint is a set period during which specific work has to be completed and made ready for review, setting up a sprint. To create a sprint, navigate to your project backlog and look for the sprint backlog section. Click on start sprint and fill out the necessary information. Give your sprint a descriptive name. Duration. Specify how long the sprint will last, typically one to four weeks. After defining your sprint, drag user stories from the backlog into the sprint backlog to indicate that you're committing to completing them during this sprint. The Kanban board allows you to visualize your workflow as tasks move from one column to another, to do, and progress done. This helps you monitor progress and identify any bottlenecks in your workflow. At the end of each sprint, it's important to hold a sprint review meeting to demonstrate the work completed and gather feedback. After that, conduct a sprint retrospective to reflect on what went well and what could be improved in the next sprint. Jira allows you to create custom filters to quickly access specific tasks or issues. You can save these filters for easy reuse. Additionally, you can set up dashboards that display an overview of your projects, key metrics, and progress. As you begin to use Jira, you'll likely want to collaborate with team members. You can invite them by navigating to the Teams here. You can add new members by entering their email addresses or connecting to platforms like Google or Microsoft. One of Jira's strengths is its integration capabilities. You can enhance your Jira experience by adding various apps and tools. For example, integrating Slack allows for seamless communication, while GitHub integration helps manage code development tasks. Jira offers automation features that can save you a ton of time. You can create automation rules to streamline repetitive tasks. For example, you can set up a rule that automatically assigns tasks to team members based on certain criteria. To create an automation rule, go to the Automation section and click on Create Rule. From there, you can define triggers. This flexibility can help your team work more efficiently. Jira includes various reporting features to track project progress and team performance. You can generate reports such as burn up and burn down charts, visualize work completed over time and estimate project completion. Sprint reports. Analyze what was accomplished in each sprint. Velocity charts. Measure how much work your team completes in each sprint. These reports provide valuable insights that can help you refine your processes and improve efficiency. You've now taken your first steps into the world of Jira. Remember, mastering Jira is a journey, not a destination. The more you use it, the more comfortable you'll become with its features and functionalities.